2015 was an extraordinary year for the United Nations. Uh, we got uh, the approval of the Addis Ababa Action Agenda, financing for development, the endorsement by all the member states of the United Nations of the Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals. And finally, in December, we got the agreement on climate change. Well, I mean, it was also an important year for the statistical community. It was the first time in the long history of the UN that the chair of the statistical commission actually talked to the General Assembly directly on the topic of indicators. And of course, indicators is like the last missing piece to complete the architecture of the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. I think we were able to really take in into account inputs from all stakeholders. Literally, we had open consultations where everyone out there could send inputs and the members of the group that have been established by the Statistical Commission to develop the indicators were really able to go through all these inputs and understand what the reality is, is out there for citizens, civil society, private sector organizations, entities, and really they were able to take that into account when defining the indicators to be used for the, for the agenda. Through the mechanism of the Statistical Commission, the member states were really in charge in the driving Absolutely. seat of this, this process. Ab there were many indicator proposals and of course uh, beyond this list of global indicators that we are looking at, we will need a lot more indicators to review at the regional level, and at the, the national, national level. level. We are now in the middle of this negotiation yes. process and we are looking forward in a way to completing this and, and having this set of indicators available. But that is of course not the end of the story. In fact, it's the beginning, the beginning of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Because as you rightly said, I mean, two things then will have to happen. Number one is, I mean, this will become the starting point for at the regional and at the national level to really define what are the needs there. And then number two, we have to get the data. There is a significant amount of indicators that are already in place, right. are already produced by uh, intergovernmental agreement around the world. All statistical offices, national statistical offices are familiar with them. And then there is a, sm there is a group an additional group of indicators that indeed are not produced today. Mm -hmm. And this is where the focus should be. It is amazing to see how much work is being done already. When fun. you go uh, around the world and you, you meet with uh, both, you know, national, uh, at the national level, at the regional level, and the number of initiatives around the this uh, idea of, of really having the data that you need to, to implement the agenda. The agenda will give us uh, an opportunity, I think, to also review the ways we work together at the global level. I mean, we often talk about the global statistical system, and the global statistical system uh, comprises, of course, uh, the UN, various UN agencies, because I mean, in the UN agencies, we have the specialized agencies, we have the funds and programs, and we have regional commissions and secretariat entities, and uh, many of whom uh, produce uh, information and data. And of course, I mean, in the spirit of one UN, it is incumbent on us to make sure that we don't overburden countries with data requests, and we all agree among ourselves how we manage what I call the data traffic from the national level to the regional level to the global level to, to, to manage this efficiently. I have seen that in many countries, in fact, this process is already on the move. Yeah. Almost everybody is mobilized on this process. And um, what is important to, to highlight is also the fact that there is a larger set of organizations, groups, professionals that are all interconnected and, and positively interacting with the UN. Addressing the key notion of leaving no one behind, either countries or vulnerable groups, men or women, will never be easy. It will always represent an incredible challenge for the statistical community, but I think we are in the right path.